Hello everybody, my name is Wolfocity, and welcome back to some more wrench gameplay. Now, today we are doing some diagnostics on our car. Now, if you watched the previous episode, you saw that when we tested the car, it said we were missing four wrist pins on the pistons. That is going to be these things right here. And they go right in here. So I got the other three done. I'm going to slide this last one in. And put our pin clip in and now we have all four pistons should be complete so have to make sure all our all our rings are 100 percent and in but i went ahead and i took the engine out because i had to take apart i had to take off the transmission the drive shaft the ppf all the hoses we're gonna have to refill the coolant refill the oil we're gonna have to bleed the brakes and then drain and refill the transmission with fresh fluid so that's our plan for this episode test the car again and then see if it's ready to roll and then we're gonna see if we can get into a race I might have to clear out some of these jobs first off the job board because this is not the right class for these cars which I, I did buy another car in case you're wondering so I'm gonna go ahead and get this engine put back together and get it back in the car and then we're gonna start with probably draining the transmission and refilling it so I will be right back all right we are all set I got the engine rebuilt and put back in the car got all the fluids topped off so radiator and the oil are done all we need to do is bleed the brakes and refill the transmission and then put all this stuff back in so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the furthest caliper I hope I don't have to take the tire off there we go just crack it loose whoops <laughs> Hold on. Put the hose on and then crack it loose. There we go. Then you just gotta watch it. So the fluid will start to clear up. So it'll go from like a dark color to a light color. And you can see there's like little, little breaks in the fluid. So that, that is air, air bubbles. Gotta get those taken out. We might have to go pump this. Yeah. So you gotta maintain 10 PSI in this, but I just like to pump it as much as it'll go. That's good. Go check on it here. Still got a little bit of air bubbles here. And then once it seems good and clear, you can go ahead, go back in. And tighten her up and you can pull your hose off and then move on to the next one all right that should do it just retighten pull the hose off and that's it we're done get our master cylinder cap back on there wrong button here we go all right so that is done we don't need that right now So let's get all these pieces put back in. All right, we're gonna do a drain on the transmission now. Drain all this fluid out. We'll also take the fill bolt out too, so we'll go a little quicker. Not entirely sure how many bottles this is gonna take to do. There we go. Done draining. Now we just fill it till it overflows. Well, that one's out. This one's seriously out. Yeah, I guess we need more fluid then. There we go. 
All done. That put back on. All right. Let's get our body panels back on and test car. <laughs> See, let's just hope that it's good to go. Really hope so. Hmm. Okay, I also forgot the UCA washers on the rear lower control arms. So let me go ahead and do that real fast. Okay, so the engine turns over, but will not start. So the only thing that I can think of is that the timing is off. I really don't like doing timing. Uh, all right, let me get the front of this engine torn apart again and we'll get to the timing. When you're timing the engine, you wanna make sure this arrow here is pointing to this little crankshaft sprocket notch. And then up here, you wanna make sure these white lines line up with the E and I areas on the front of the engine block. You want to make sure those lined up and your engine should be timed. <sighs> engine turns over but will not start. All right, so it was my fault. So right here on this cam gear, there's an eye. You want that pointing to the eye. On this cam gear, there's an E, which they both have it, E and I, E and I, with the white line. You want to line it up, E to E, I to I, white line facing these little raised bumps on there. And you still want that little notch with the arrow pointing into it. So I had that right, but I had the E pointing to the I, so it was wrong. Now let's get the rest of this put back together and let's see if it tests out good. All right, I have everything put back together. So let's get to the moment of truth here. Let's test the car. Okay, assembly's okay, engine's okay, mechanic, race checks. This is a rear wheel drive unlimited, which we don't have any races available. Symptoms, suspension pops and rattles when turning. Man, it's just one thing after another, isn't it? Like, it couldn't have told me this before. So the only thing, this is all brand new up here, except for the front shocks. That's it. Can I, can I take this off? Oh my God, I can. Okay. I guess we'll go ahead and pull the shocks off and rebuild the front shocks too. All right, time to retest the car. Suspension pops and rattles when turning. What is wrong? So I have no idea what is going on with this car. So if I test it again, it still says suspension pops and rattles when turning. So I realized that there was no sway bar in the rear. So I put in a solid rear sway bar, put the end, what are these called? End link bodies, went through the troubles of trying to find the correct nuts to put these bushing, bushing brackets on. And I don't know what's wrong. I have no idea what's going on. I replaced the front sway bar bushings because I realized that they actually had them and they were bad. So I replaced those. Everything up front is new. Everything is new except for this front right caliper. That is it. I even replaced the sliding, sliding pins in the back of the caliper. I replaced both sides, front and rear. I did all of that. I replaced the front shock bodies and rebuilt them. Maybe it's the springs. I don't know I have no idea well I found the issue so I was looking through 
sway bar stuff. And I see this sway bar conical washer. I go to look at the end body link. And you take your washers and you put them in the ends on each side. So each end link body is going to take four conical washers. So you're going to need a total of 16. So if you have the same issue that I was having with the suspension pops and rattles while turning, check your end link bodies because that could be the issue. So let me get this thing put back together and we'll do one final test. All right, moment of truth once again. Yes, oh thank God. All right, we can officially call this car done. And it's pretty much, for the most part, minus the right front caliper, it is 100% brand new, all besides the front right caliper. Oh man, I'm so tired. This took a lot, a lot of pondering, a lot of diagnosing and testing and looking at different parts. That's what I love about wrench though is stuff like this can go wrong. It'll give you a very vague, vague description, but through process of elimination, you can figure out exactly what's wrong. I feel better now. So we finished the car and I don't think we're going to have enough time to do some racing today. So next episode, we'll be taking a look at the racing mechanic of the game. But after that, I mean, we're pretty much done. Like that's all that wrench has to offer other than, the jobs you can do but that gets repetitive so yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like if you're new here hit the subscribe button for more content like this and i'll see you guys in the next video till then don't forget to join the pack